Hey, um, I recently learned that Jordan Isaka had passed away, and I thought I would say a few things about Jordan. It's um, really unexpected. Jordan, for those who don't know him, was a real mainstay in the magic community in Seattle. And just about everybody, everyone on the West Coast knew Jordan because he just touched all of us in a really profound way. It's just unbelievable. I think I found out about Jordan's passing just last week. His brother posted under his account saying that Jordan had unexpectedly passed. He was a very young guy. Jordan was very young. I don't even think he was hitting 40. He had this incredible joy for life that was very infectious. All of us, when we encountered Jordan or had interactions with Jordan, they were basically all, all unanimously unanimously positive. Jordan just loved life and he just loved magic. He loved the magic community. I started recording this video, but I, I'm not really sure how to navigate it. I just felt it was, it is important to pay tribute to who Jordan is as a person, as a human being. From all the Facebook responses and writings on Jordan's Facebook wall, it's clear that he's impacted so many people. And the whole community in Seattle and probably on the West Coast is just absolutely devastated. Absolutely. For me, I first ran into Jordan when I was traveling in Seattle and I think this was GP Seattle, aka GP Seattle Tacoma. They called it Seattle, but it was really not in the city of Seattle. It's kind of like outside in the suburban areas called Tacoma. And a few friends and I, we had been visiting to play in this Grand Prix. This must have been like 2015. 2016 I want to say I do remember it was a legacy GP and at the time I think the best deck out there was Shardless Bug I believe that's what it was so we visited Seattle and before the GP we wanted to get some practice and so we visited Mox Boarding House which is owned by by Car Kingdom and we we played in a in a in a pre GP event there and I think that was the first time that I met Jordan. Jordan's a pretty much was a mainstay in Mox slash Car Kingdom. He was doing a lot of the uh, commentary at the time. They were streaming a lot of Legacy. And Legacy is definitely one of my favorite formats. And I just remember meeting Jordan for the first time, even though I had heard of him. And just being absolutely astounded by how warm and generous and loving and thoughtful he was it's just as a as a person i mean he didn't know me i didn't really know him but he always made sure to really welcome you and crack a joke or two and just he's just always positive i've never actually seen jordan in a bad mood and i i, I whether he's he was playing magic commentating on magic just encountering like talking to him on Facebook, Messenger, it didn't matter. Just He just always had a joy for life. And based on the folks that I've talked to about Jordan, they, they all had the same experience. Just Jordan was just a wonderful ray of sunshine. I, I really can't understate this enough. And yeah, it's just, it's just sad. I mean, he was a real mainstay of the magic community and... He was also known for, I mean, for making us laugh because he, he, he was, he's got a sense of humor, but also he's known for whiteboarding his whole deck. I think he had a Facebook group 
where he talked about or he showed off whiteboarding all his cards, right? So fetches, um, all the all the cards in his land still deck because he loved land still. It's just he put he made them all whiteboarded, and that's just something so iconic about Jordan. And I think even Chrome Moxon or Moxes, he did all that stuff and always found a way to make me laugh at least. The other thing about Jordan is just that he absolutely, absolutely loves, loved the Seattle Mariners. That was his team. He must be a, a Seattle native. I, I didn't really have a chance to ask him about that. But he was always posting about <laughs> the Mariners. And I remember him being so happy just recently because the Mariners made the postseason for the first time in... Gosh, maybe like over a decade or 15 years or something crazy. I used to visit Seattle to watch the Mariners back when I lived in Vancouver, Canada, which was very close by, just like a two and a half hour drive. And I still remember just even a few weeks ago, Jordan and I were just talking on Facebook Messenger about about Mariners and how excited he was. And it seemed like Jordan was getting his act together. I mean, not that his act wasn't strong to begin with, but I think he would, he posted on Facebook. He had lost a lot of weight. He was trying to get healthier. He, he The Mariners were on, on the upswing. And yeah, it just seemed like life as, life as usual. And I don't really have too much to say other than it's just just a tragedy, man. Just all of us, I mean, I consider myself to be uh, an older member of the Magic community in Vancouver, Canada, because I, I, I grew up in Vancouver, Canada before moving to China. And all the folks I know who are in the Magic community in Vancouver are also just, just shell-shocked. We're all just devastated at Jordan's passing. And I know I've said this before, but Jordan just touched everybody. He just made everybody feel wonderful and there's no way to replace a person like Jordan being on the planet it's just it's just a huge huge loss and yeah I mean Jordan I hope you're up there I hope you're still spreading your happiness still laughing still cheering on the mariners and you're just you were and you always will be an inspiration to all of us you exemplify the very best that the magic community has to offer and everyone is just tremendously sad that you are you are no longer here with us but i think that we're always going to remember your presence, your positivity, and your white-bordered legacy deck. And that's all I can say. If you're listening to this and you, whether you you know Jordan or you know of him or you don't know Jordan, just hug your loved ones and realize that life is really short and... If you can make a positive impact for your neighbor or your friend, family member, just please, please do it because you just never know. All right, that's, that's, that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Rest in peace, Jordan. You will be missed.